Good afternoon, everyone. I'm the director of Engine Research Center of HD Heavy Industries. It's my privilege to present my ideas at this important conference. Thank you for having me today. Today, I'm going to talk about the development of methanol engine and zero carbon, carbon fuel engine for greenhouse gas emission regulations. And I will also talk about mature fuel. This is the content of my presentation. First, I'm going to give you some background. And then it will be followed by development characteristics of a ship engine and need for VPD and methanol engine development in Hyundai heavy industries. And I will conclude my presentation with the future plan. Greenhouse gas related regulations have been discussed enough. So let me be brief here. The number of relevant regulations and laws are, is, are increasing, is increasing. And the laws and regulations have increased for a short period of time. Only a few years ago, LNG would be enough to meet the requirements. But there have been too many changes for the last few years. Regulations have gotten stricter, as you can see in the graph. HD Hyundai Group Engine Development Division has to consider the regulations when it develops new engines. There are many available solutions and options for now, but everything comes down to change of fuels. Without changing fuels, we cannot meet the new regulations. It's important to develop new engines, but changing fuels will not be all cure. So we have to increase, we need a new technology to increase fuel efficiency at the same time. BPD, it includes a long list of technologies, but simply put, it is uh, technology based on simulation as well as based on data. People in this industry has extensive have extensive knowledge of this, but if you think again why VPD is important, the answer is just simple. Car's life cycle is only 6,000 hours and specific specifically prototypes of cars, only f uh, as many as 500 to 600 prototypes are produced. But we are producing only one large prototype of engines for our customers. Once we create a prototype based on simulation, the immediate next step is mass production. So compared to the car industry, you may imagine much simulation would require for the shipbuilding, and you're correct. As greenhouse gas emission regulations become more rigid, and to support new engines, simulation is becoming an increasingly more important, but we need more than data. Himsen, and, um, Himsen is a brand of HD heavy industries. It already has a complete lineup of dual fuel engines. It works, it serves as a platform to develop a methanol fuel engine, but this is not enough. This is not sufficient, so we need BPD or new engine development. So this shows workload. In the early step, workload is relatively less. And once you reach mass production stage, workload will 
the curve goes up sharply before shipbuilding and shipping a diverse range of models are needed so more endeavor to reduce the gap will be needed constantly so HD Hyundai Heavy Industries introduced and launched Himsen engine in 2012. It took 60 years to develop a model, but the development period went down to three years later. And the line of creation took six years, and it offered six different models. And each model took two years to be developed, but the methanol engine took only six months. But the development team says, it's easier said than done because the team, it, they were the ones who developed the engine. But after all, the development period was significantly shortened. The methanol as a fuel, I'm not talking about the chemical properties of methanol. Methanol, methanol as a fuel is a new type of fuel for shipping and shipbuilding industries. And that was what we knew when we first developed this type of engines. But thermal release was much less than other alternative fuels, but vapor rate is vapor rate presented a challenge in combustion. So we consider that property when we developed methanol engines. And I will elaborate on that on later slide. And we have to take a balance. Advantages can serve as disadvantages, but sometimes your worries and concerns will not be worries and concerns anymore. And stocks will be released. That's obvious. But we were able to see stocks was reduced because of the residual thermal. But as you know, green fuel is the way we will move forward. H3 is the basic platform for methanol engine development. And heavy fuel oil, HFO, MDO, and MGO is all capable. And this engine, this methanol engine, can meet the requirements of IMO tier 3. What is notable is that we are using e dual fuel in injection pump. And it is mechanically pumped, but it is at the same time can be controlled by electronically. And methanol was developed to use a common rail. And LNG TF is motorcycle. As you already heard from a previous speaker, methanol slip is one of the most important issues and that could cause the biggest problem in auto cycle. So when we first came up with the concept of design, we considered the advantage of methanol engines in terms of meth uh, slip methanol. We can offer advantage in terms of NOx release as well. Once you have a port injection, so much shock could happen. Here you have to consider the methanol can exist at a room temperature. There is something called dwell. So micropile is used to inject a diesel and it is followed by combustion and last methanol is injected. So after all, methanol gives higher vapor rate because of a latent heat. Methanol could stop combustion or the combustion engine room 
which is hot enough, can offer unstable combustion because methanol is injected too late. So we have to control the unstable combustion. And it, this will determine, your control will determine whether you have stable combustion or unstable combustion. So timing is the key to ensure combustion. Next, heat release rate. This is a conventional diesel compared to long dual. dual. So dual has better heat release. So you may suggest Zero dual is the best, but that's not the case because it could interfere with methanol combustion. Since 2019, we were prepared for development of methanol engine and new GHD regulations of IMO, but we didn't expect that the regulations will get stricter much fast, much earlier than we expected. We are using electronic fuel pumps. This allows us to use or uh, adjust the pumping. The methanol is using common rail, so it offers better efficiency and offers better uh, heat efficiency. Next, smoke. There is only small amount of smoke, so it releases small amount of NOx. As I said earlier, we should strike a balance. And this new engine can, this new development methodology is contributing to reduce NOx release. Ekmel Musk, this is a new ship builder. It has taken an aggressive approach so in keeping up with their efforts, we have developed this engine and we are proud to say that we made a, at least a contribution to this endeavor. In Europe, Laura sailed from Korea to Europe and there was a much fanfare, there was much fanfare, and the chair of the European Commission was also attended the ceremony. In DF1, HD Heavy Industries received an order of over 200 DF1, and as you can see on the graph, the order is increasing. And this is an example of VPD, vibration, endurance, fatigue, everything is used for simulation. Let me give you the leading two, uh, two leading examples. Anyone can do this, but no one can actually put their words into action. Once we reach the stage of mass production, you have to consider this to meet the different needs of ship owners. You have to build a wide range of products in small volumes. So you have to do simulation for every single product. It will cost you a lot. That is why BPD is important because it can give you meta, meta models. So all you have to do is enter certain numbers and the result is the engine performance values. So it took one and a half years only, but that doesn't mean that we worked 24 seven without uh, with losing much sleep. So BPD allows you to find the best position, best results. So you can make more with less. 
the test, uh, the number of tests can be reduced by 50 percent, and at the same time, we could find the most optimized methodology. And basic design concept, a uh, design of concept, a uh, very important. So all you have to do is to enter basic numbers and values to predict the performance. This is a part of front engineering, and this is also a part of a VPD methodology. A peak end bearing is very important for lubrication system. And Himsen engines include different lineups. And more than 20,000 Himsen engines have been manufactured. So by utilizing all these different models, we created a meta model. So again, you can enter basic data. And what will come out is uh, an estimated performance for a new engine. It will help you reduce cost, save you cost. So when we develop a new ammonia or uh, methanol engines, we can reduce dramatically the development periods. Next is our future plan. We launched a methanol engine last year. For the later half of this year, we will launch another model, H2 engine, and they will complete our methanol engine lineup. So we can meet the needs of large commercial ships and small feed liners. And PAT is scheduled for December. Next year, we are scheduled to launch ammonia engine. And for the third quarter, we will apply for a type approval. We are also working on hydrogen engine. Uh, our uh, completion rate is currently 30%. And pure hydrogen engine, our target date is 2025. Ammonia is expected to release a large amount of NOx. Not only methane sleep, but N2O are very important, so it requires your awareness. M2O, so we have to reach somewhere between M2O and NOx hydrogen engines. It sounds like a novel technology, but hydrogen hydrogen is becoming a common fuel for vehicles. For low speed and mid speed shipping and operation, hydrogen com is combusted faster so that is what we need to control. So this is the summary and conclusions. GHG regulations are getting stricter. So as an engine builder, we need to cope with the stricter regulations. Once again, HD and the heavy industries has a has an extensive portfolio. You know, a portfolio allows us a meta model that will shorten development periods. So we will going we are going to develop ammonia engines and hydrogen engines. And I truly believe engine builders can contribute to saving the earth and the engine development business division will continue its 